Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the new media player app on Windows 11 on any version of Windows 11, whether you have the beta version or the release preview channel or the main release, you will be able to install the new media player app in Windows 11 using the steps that I'm going to show you in this video. So as you know, this is only available on the dev channel of Windows 11, but we can install it on any version using the method that I'm going to show you in this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. So let's start. First of all, you're going to have to open up store.rg-adgar.net. Of course, all the links and commands that I'm going to use in this video will be in the article down below so you can get it from there. So from here, select package family name from the left side. Here, paste the following value that you're going to have in the article down below. And from here, select fast and then click on this check mark. You're going to have to scroll down to the bottom and locate this file, which is 11.211. 32.0 neutral the dot m6 bundle if you're using edge just click on it to download but if you're using chrome as you can see it won't download if you click on it right click on it and then click on save link as and then save it on your desktop for example click on this arrow and then click on keep and this will be successfully downloaded. Now we're going to need to download 7-zip because we're going to have to extract that archive to do some modifications to the files in there. So I'm just going to download the .exe 7-zip. You're going to have the link to 7-zip and the article down below as well. Let's install 7-zip really fast and then click on close. Just for you to know, I'm using the Windows 11 latest beta channel build. But as I said, this works on any Windows 11 version, even if you are on the main release. So now let's just right click on the package that we've just downloaded, show more options, and 7-zip and extract to. And everything will be extracted in a folder. Open up the folder. In this folder, scroll down to the bottom to locate this app file for x64. Right click on it again, show more options, 7-zip and extract to again to extract this package also, and it will be extracted in a folder at the top of the list. Open it up, locate the AppX manifest file, right click on it and then show more options and then edit. It will open up with a notepad. Now here, you're gonna have to go to the 11th line, which is this one. And as you can see, we have main version. Basically, Microsoft tells the software the minimum version that you are required to have in order to install this program. And all you need to do is to change this value to this value so that you will be able to install on any version. Use the keyboard combination Control S or file and save to save the file. So in this location, you're going to have to delete four files, which are Apex metadata, content type, Apex block map, and Apex signature. Basically, you need to delete all these four folders, shift delete to permanently delete them, and now we should be good to go. Now we're going to have to enable the developer mode in our Windows operating system. So just open up settings, type in search developer, click on developer settings and make sure this is turned on. If you have it off, click on it and then click on yes to turn it on. Now, after that, we're going to have to open up PowerShell as administrator. Just open up the search box, type in here PowerShell, right click on PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. And here we're going to have to firstly remove the Groove Music package that is available on Windows 11. We won't be able to install the new media player app if we have that installed. So for that, we're going to use this command, get app x package, zoom, remove app x package package all users. The command will be in the article down below. Press enter and the command will be run in a few seconds. And now basically we removed Groove Music from our operating system. Now all you need to do is to run the next command, which is add dash apex package dash register, and then go into the location where we did those modifications, right click on the apex manifest file, and then click on copy as path, and right click in the PowerShell to copy the path. Make sure to copy the location yourself, because it can be different in your operating system and then press enter to successfully install the package. And now you can exit out from here. And if you use the search, you will find the new media player in Windows 11. As I've said, you can install it on any Windows 11 version, whether it is the beta version or the main release, you will be able to successfully install it. I'm not really sure if this is better than Groove Music at the moment, but it surely has a way nicer look. So don't forget to check out the article down below for all the links necessary and also the commands that you can use in order to install this. So don't forget to give this video a like and also make sure to subscribe to the TechBase channel for more videos like this. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.